Hey guys, a new video. Today we're going to go over the story of this chest I've been making, or I have made, the Demon Jack Grasping Mail. This is uh, sort of a pro next, next project I'm working on is going to be a um, Transcendence Armor Stacker build. And in order to do that, I needed a chest like this. Um, this is a Grasping Mail, so it is from the Breach Rings. You get it from turning in, I think, a full uh, inventory slot of Breach Rings. And it has these uh, two mods that we want. It's first of all the increased global defenses and invasion rating is increased by overcap cold resistance. And if and as if you've been you know on the channel, you probably know that for armor stacker evasion is a very good stat, probably better than armor itself. So um, those two mods combined is sort of what we're looking for. And I bought this chest pretty early on in the league. It was uh, it popped up for very cheap. And um, so I've just been kind of holding on to it and uh, finally now have the currency to craft it. And we'll get into the crafting, how I crafted it, and sort of the big mistakes I've made along the way. There was actually three mistakes that ended up costing me quite a lot of money. I'd probably say I lost about 100 plus or 150 divines or so due to uh, some of those mistakes I made. And that's just because I, I've actually never crafted an item like this and instead of actually looking up exactly what... Uh, should be done. I kind of just, uh, you know, winged it a little bit here and there. But anyways, yeah, we'll get into everything that happened. Let's uh, go look at what kind of base you're going to need if you want to try to craft one of these. So go on PoE Ninja and you're going to look for a Grasping Mail and it's going to have uh, increased global defense and increased evasion rating. Uh, evasion rating is increased by overcap cold resistance. So if we look, there's only 14 right now in trade and there is only three online and you actually do kind of want to have an open prefix because you're going to need to craft on physical damage taken as uh, elemental and this is very important because on the, on most of these builds uh, you are going to go transcendence and well anyway that's kind of a whole other topic to get into but basically your it makes your physical damage reduction zero so your armor doesn't count for your physical damage reduction so you're gonna have to convert all of your physical damage taken as to elemental so basically you're gonna have to do a yolo a null to open up a prefix anyways so this is the base they're very rare and they're quite expensive to actually buy this base and that's kind of why it is very um yeah i guess hard to make these just because how how rare these two mods are anyways first of all we are going to work on the suffixes so the only the nice thing is the only th uh, crafting it is pretty simple because of the eldritch currencies we can basically just um target the eater of world influence and then just you know eldritch chaos eldritch annul eldritch eldritch uh, exalt until we actually uh get the right suffixes and we're looking for t1 int t2 cold resistance um the cold resistance can only be up to tier two because of the grasping male item level. They can only, uh, you know, they don't really have that high enough item level for you to be able to roll a tier one cold resistance. Uh, and actually, yeah, it doesn't really have to be cold resist. It could be any resist that rolls. Let me just swap it over with harvest. But basically, yeah, and then the third suffix is a little bit, uh, it's not really that important. Basically, you can pretty much roll anything else on the third suffix. In this case, we'll get into it what I what happened to the, my third suffix later on in the video. But so this is how we do our suffixes. And I did get very lucky. I rolled a tier two cold resist or in tier two resistance, and I exalt slammed on the tier one intelligence. Extremely rare. And you could spend hundreds and hundreds of divines just on the Eldritch Chaos and Exalts and stuff just to, to get, you know, a good combination. Um, anyways. All right, so after that, we're going to divine up the intelligence. So the intelligence is a max roll. And then we'll just finish off the cold resistance in harvest and just swap it back and forth until we hit the max roll on the cold res. All 
Alright, so now we're basically just going to be doing the uh, Eldritch Implicits. We're going to do the Aura Effect one first, because that's the one we're going to elevate to perfect quality. And you can see I did get it here, actually. So Implicits are, well, I guess they're very simple to do, but it does take a lot of money because you have to use a lot of these Orb of Conflicts and the expensive uh, Embers and uh, Ickers and all that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do is we are going to apply the opposite uh, high level ember so that we have a higher chance of elevating the non-curse aura and then we're just going to orb a conflict and repeat this process until it becomes uh, the perfect quality All right, now here is where I made my first big mistake, and that is beat well. We finished the aura effect implicit, and it was time to roll the opposite one, but I, for some reason, I used the wrong orb. So I used uh, the same orb as the aura effect one and pretty much just reset everything I just did. And so uh, we're back to doing the uh, aura effect implicit again. Alright, now for the Eater of Worlds Implicit, we are going to be using the Exceptional Ickers. Because we can't elevate, um, we want to get a high of a tier as possible. Alright, now here is going to be my second mistake I made. Um, I just, I for some reason wanted to get the White Sockets first before the tempering orb but um, little did I know that using a tempering orb would reset the sockets so yeah you know um, didn't know about this should have looked it up but uh, I didn't and so I ended up spending uh, I think about 70 ish divines or so to try to get f uh, full six white sockets and yeah you'll see in a, uh, when we do the tempering orb that everything just gets deleted and before I did that, I decided to try to get the base quality up with these sacred orbs. Didn't get 100%, and I'm not really concerned about it now because I can just do that any other any time. But it was at like 0% base quality, so I wanted to kind of bump it up a little bit. Alright, and here is the tempering orb. You see, as soon as I use it item goes to ha have one socket and all of that money I spent on the uh, white sockets and even the six link was uh, pretty much just wasted. I'm just kind of sitting here stunned at the screen like what just happened. But anyways, we keep moving on and uh, we're looking for the 8% increased explicit defense modifiers roll. And I think I got lucky I hit this in uh, only a few tempering orbs. I think it was under 10 or so. So I'm pretty happy with that. All right, and here is sort of what I thought would be the finished item. Originally, I was going to play the build on a Juggernaut, and so I filled up my prefix. I actually exalt slammed on the increased armor, evasion, and energy shield. I was actually pretty happy with that because, you know, uh, getting energy shield on a grasping mill is pretty hard, especially with this uh, these two prefixes that you pretty much can't touch. Um, but... I decided halfway through that I wanted to go Scion and go Transcendence instead of just playing Jug. And in order to do that, I'm go I was going to need to craft a, the 12% physical damage taken as Elemental. And, well, you know, that's a prefix, so uh, I have to... I had to actually annul the uh, increased armor and evasion roll that I previously Exalt slammed on. And it's a 1 in 3... Uh, I didn't really know if I was going to do it or not, what it, like, I couldn't really decide, so I went to sleep, came back the next day, did some test runs on Craft of Exile, and then just uh, used the Eldritch Annul, and I hit it. So I'm pretty stoked about that. And um, so this is the completed chest now. So you can see it's got it's still got the Intelligence, T1 Intelligence, T2 Cold. I did slam on a... Uh, tier 3 
tier 6 lightning resistance now this roll it is a little bit bad and i can go back and fix it at any time although it, that does mean i'm going to have to redo the implicits because in order to work on these suffixes i'm going to have to have the eater of worlds um, as the uh, higher mod so that means i'm going going to have to redo all of this elevation and the only mod that i would really want is actually the you know increased physical damage reduction so uh, it will kind of get into why i mean that's kind of a long video to get into why i want the physical damage reduction but anyways just to say this that's the other suffix that i would want other than that having a high tier of strength would be good because we'll be using the shaper's touch again and the shaper's touch is going to give us energy shield from our strength so i i guess not ideal that it did roll lightning i, need, I mean at least it's not stun and block recovery you know so it's not a dead stat but it is not the ideal stat and we'll probably have to go back and fix this up in the future hey uh well that's going to be it for this crafting video guys this is uh at least finished uh until i decide to redo the suffixes so we're going to end the video here if you've got made it this far thanks uh, for watching like and subscribe uh, really helps the channel out and i'll see you next time in the next video